What's up YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today's going to be a different video. We're going to be looking at my shiny Pokemon. So I've not been one to shiny hunt. I've always got them just by breeding, fluke, Pokemon Go. Let's go Eevee, let's go Pikachu. Um, I started to do a bit of the chaining method and I got a few. Didn't bother doing many, but I want to get into it. I've seen a few YouTubers doing it, and the ones they catch just look amazing. And seeing them in the game, using them in the game, just look brilliant. As I'm going through the process at the moment of trying to breed competitive Pokemon, I've actually been quite lucky that a few of them have been shiny. The stats have been terrible, but I've got shiny Pokemon. So, I actually think I'm going to start shiny hunting now i'm not at the confident level yet to live stream or anything so this will be done in my own time whilst i'm playing the game and i'll just do videos like this for updates of what's gone on what i've caught how i've caught it what i'm doing that kind of thing so i'm quite lucky that i've got two nintendo switches um one of them being my personal switch and one of them being a family switch so with that i'm able to kind of do twice as much in theory so i've got both sword and shield let's go eevee let's go pikachu so when it's come to doing things like this i've been quite lucky that i can get the regional exclusives trades with myself so a couple of weeks back I purchased a device called Switch Up Game Enhancer. Basically, it's a little USB dongle that's got some pre-programmed code that allows for tasks in the game. One of them being breeding and hatching. Two separate tasks. So breeding a, you know, a whole box full of eggs and then setting up the hatching task. So that's what I've been doing. On one switch, I've just had it connected in, got my Pokemon there, done, I think it was 19 full boxes of eggs, so 570 odd. And I was able to get quite a few shinies out of that, which was quite surprising, because when you see some of the, the turnaround that some YouTubers get, it's like they're into the thousands before they get the shiny. Now, I'm not saying I started off on an easy shiny. No, sorry. I did start off on an easy shiny, I think. But what we'll do is we'll just go into the Pokemon home. And I'll show you what we're starting with. So, where did I put it? So this is what we have already. So we've got the Caterpie. Kakuna, we've got three of them. We've got Rolts, which is going to be amazing. Gardevoir, one of my favourite Pokemon, so that's going to be brilliant. Baldum, I was over the moon to get that. That was just, ah, oh, brilliant. And then I started to bring some through from Pokemon Go. So the last two, uh, these ones here, the Community Days in November. So I think for Magma. In total, I got like 17 shinies in the game, so brought a couple over. The same with the um, Alakazam line. Uh, Rhyhorn, I have got the other ones to bring over, but I've got no Pokemon Go, Stardust, whatever it is left to, to bring it over. So I have to wait for that to charge up. The same with the final evolution here. So I think all these ones here were Let's Go Eevee. Managed to get Charmander and Squirtle in this game. So, happy with that. Got a few more there for Pikachu or Eevee. And then I think the rest... Oh no, a few more there. So yeah, mix and match between Let's Go and this game. But we've got a good base. You know, there's some decent Pokemon there with good Shinies. Now, 
what I'm pleased about is what I've been doing this week. Well, week just gone. And that was this game. So this is my second Switch, so not my main account. What I have started to do though is a lot of Max Lair raid ends. So I've got a, a duplicates of all of these. Um, but this is my shiny hunt list. So these are the first 30 Pokemon that I want to shiny hunt. These are the ones out of the game I want a shiny variant of. Top left, my favourite Pokemon, Bulbasaur. So we started. That's who we went with. Like I said, we went 20 odd boxes, as you can see, just full up of Bulbasaur's. I mean, it looks brilliant because it's just full of Bulbasaur's. So in total, 590 Pokemon we hatched. And out of that, I got three, which is brilliant to me because now this means I can have the old evolution line, which I didn't think to start with. I was just like, oh, I'll just get one. I'll be happy with Bulbasaur. But now I've got all three. It's like, well, Ivysaur is going to be shiny. Venusaur is going to be shiny. The problem is I now look at this list thinking I kind of want the whole lot shiny. Like on the left hand side, you can see Magma, Magmortar, um, Electabuzz. You know, we've we've got the evolution line. The same here. Rhyhorn, like I mentioned, we've got the others. I haven't got duplicates of these yet, so we've only got one of them. Uh, Magic Up, obviously, we've got a Gyarados there. We can do the um, evolution here. We can definitely do the evolutions on the Caterpies. So, I'm now starting to think, do I go for a full shiny Dex of what's available? Because I don't think there's a shiny for, for everything. So, yeah, let me know what you think, because it's going to take a long time. You know, 590 um, just for Bulbasaur was about three days. Because although the switch up device automates it as such, it only catches, oh sorry, it can only hatch one box. So there is still some manual intervention that I have to come back, you know, after he's finished, move it on. But it's still a lot easier than having to do it manually. Some will say it's cheating. That's fine. You know, at the end of the day, they're legal pokemon they're they're not hacked you know he's not the best you know the next one nothing decent there we've got no dodgy pokemon or anything like that it's just i want shinies i've never done it before it looks fun so like I say, I've started with these because their shinies, to me, are the best. There's a big difference between their normal and their shiny version. Whether, you know, obviously you look at Bulbasaur now and you look at the next one, it's a different colour. But when he gets to Venusaur, there is a difference. You know, you look at some of these, the Pidgey, not that different. Lapras just looks amazing. Um, you know, normally purple, it's a pink, you know, magic up normally red. So they're ones that make a difference. So yeah, over the next, well, weeks, months, year, maybe, I'm going to be chipping away at this list to see what I can get shiny. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. So yeah. Join me on my adventure. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you again. Ta-da.